Hello, today's question is from Andrew Gray from Altitude Audio Visual. And Andrew's question is how can he link his private email address for his business into his Gmail account? And I'm going to show you how to do this right now. There's only a couple of things that you need. So from your hosting provider, or if you go to your cPanel, where you have your mailbox section, you'll need to have the name of your email address. In this case, it's info at altitudeav.co.uk. You'll need the password for this account. And you will also need the mail server. Some companies may have different mail servers for both ingoing and outgoing. For this demonstration, the mail server, there is only one mail server. So the next thing we need to do is come across to Google. And we'll go into our Gmail account. Once we're in our Gmail account, we'll click on the cog in the right hand corner which says settings. Come down to settings. Now the screen we're looking for here is accounts and import. By clicking on accounts and import, you can see on the left hand side it says check email from other accounts using POP3. We're going to add a POP3 mail account. Now there's two different types of account. You've got POP3 and IMAP. An IMAP account would be used if you have a mobile phone, a tablet and a desktop and you want that message to be delivered to all of those devices and to remain on the server, you'd use IMAP. In instance of POP3, once the message has been sent from the server, it will then be deleted from the server. So if you download that message onto your phone, it will then be on your phone. It won't then be retrievable through your desktop. But because we're going to set this to Gmail, we're going to do it through POP3. And then we have a setting as we go through later, which allows us to keep a copy of the message on the server. So as an IMAP would be. So we're going to enter in our email address. Click on the next step. And it's going to ask us for our username. The username is the same as the email address. Depending on your web server, it may be different. On my web server, this is how it's set up. The password, which I'm just going to get now. So obviously had to protect this for Andrew's security, but we'll post that in there. And the POP server, which we know is mail.altitudeav.co.uk. So this is where we have the option to leave a copy of the retrieved message on the server. This was the IMAP setting I was talking about. What we're going to now do is we're going to add this account and we can label incoming messages. So we can choose a label so that when they come into Gmail we know that they have come from info at altitudeav.co.uk. So from here we'll add the account and you want to be able to send mail so this is going to set up another section to allow you to send mail as your company as opposed to as your personal Gmail. In this instance we're going to use Andrew's name, we'll treat it as an alias and we'll go to next step. We then have the opportunity to either send this through Gmail or we can send this through our own SMTP server. I'm going to set this up to send it through the uh, Gmail but this is just giving the option that the SMTP server in our case wouldn't be SMTP. Sometimes it might, in my instance it's mail and then I would use the username and the password as before. I'm going to send this through Gmail at the moment because it's easier to set up. And it's going to send to us now that we need to send a verification. Okay, so this verification would now have been sent to the email address. There'll be a verification code in that email.
So this is the confirmation that was sent. We can see here that we have a confirmation code. We'll paste that confirmation code to verify the account is who we say we are. And now we can see we have info at altitudeav.co.uk. It was last checked one minute ago and 68 emails were fetched. Now by refreshing the screen or clicking on the inbox, you'll see now on the left hand side, the new email address that we've set up, it now appears. We can click on that and there we have our import of our new mailbox. When we click on compose, we'll also have the option whether we want to send a message as Gmail or as our business address. Hello.